It's literally called soul. You're selling your soul. It's called that. God did that on purpose. This is a symbol from the universe. You're selling your soul for this shit. I can't believe I just sat through all that or that any of this is happening right now. 53 minutes of that insecure little boy going off on crypto nerds. I want to talk about this, like everything that just happened, because while it's 53 minutes, there's a lot of things that you guys might not have caught in it. And also I'll just do like a quick recap of everything. This video is going to be a little bit unconventional compared to what I normally upload. This is an informative. This is about tokens. This isn't a walkthrough or how to, uh, this is just kind of going over the current state of the crypto market. Uh, and then of course, Andrew Tate or whatever he goes by online. He has me blocked. He said me blocked for a while because I front ran his private group. First and foremost, before even starting the stream, this is the thumbnail and it's them literally holding a token called roost. I actually traded this during the stream. I came out a little on top, but I'm a little confused at this because it seemed to be a partnership. There was points of the stream where Andrew Tate's brother, I don't even know his name, was mentioning Roost as if it was some type of collab. He's like, yeah, they're cool. Um, we like teams like this, but they never really committed to shilling it. So I feel like this company, this token that's on base, I'm quite familiar with, probably worked with them and maybe made out some kind of deal. This is just speculation. I don't know what actually happened to get in the thumbnail and kind of get subtle. Now, after this, this they did a private uh podcast with just their private group which i'm going to get into in a minute so ruse definitely tried to milk whatever partnership this was they did clips of it they you know quoted it uh talked about the price going up called handsome out saying that uh whatever andrew tate was going to beat him up blah 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 again i traded it i came out a little on top i think i bought in around 34 it pumped all the way to 42 mil um i sold some and then sold the rest of the bag on the way back down, uh, wondering if they're gonna try to pump this to their private group or not, which leads into like this whole point of them having this emergency meeting. Um, I can't really read his handwriting, but essentially he thinks he's like the shepherd of crypto. He's coming to save the day, basically save from scams or rugs, and he wants to control the market. He wants to manipulate the market. If he doesn't like a company because they stand for things that he doesn't agree with, he wants to FUD them with his following and with his private group. And if he likes a company, he wants to be able to pump that and he wants to be able to do all of this while promoting the daddy token um, that basically people that simp over him are buying or maybe just speculating on hoping that it goes to a billion because if it goes to a billion that's his big thing in all of this he wants to burn the money if it goes to a billion and he has uh 40 of the supply he wants to burn up to a hundred million dollars absolutely <laughs> What can I even say? So in the background of all of this is the private group. It's $40 a month or 50, something like that. Basically you pay and he pumps a private amount of tokens to you. That's what it seems like this is looking like. I'm actually going to create ways to trade on this, do wallet tracking and all that. Of course, they're going to try to make some private wallets, but I mean, we all know some people that are going to use the group just for leverage. And he's just going to do what he said he's going to do. He's going to pump things that he agrees with and he's going to try to flood things he disagrees with. All while basically saying, that everybody involved in the crypto market is like a cesspool, is less than, um, can't do anything. It's all to trigger emotion or responses. And obviously this is one big act, but it's interesting to talk about. I know we had a lot of things come up in the crypto market over the last few months. We went from nobody caring to some celebrities caring to some people in politics caring. And now we have the final boss. We have Andrew Tate himself coming in to try to extract as much liquidity, attention, and everything else that he can. So he basically has this pyramid going on to where you pay for his private group, he pumps tokens, and then basically encourages the private group to dump the tokens and influences the market. It's actually legal, but I'm not sure it matters because he's gonna be hard to touch. I mean, people have been trying to find him for years for much more serious issues, like running, essentially being a pimp, running a cam girl business and all that, and human trafficking. But beside the point, with all that being said, step out the matrix, just learn how to trade on it. And at the end of the day, stop being racist.